Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest Toys. And as you can see, we're going to be tackling the UFO Interceptor this time. Um, we did sort all the eagle out. We've seen that one. That was done in two videos. This is going to be doing, done in two videos because there's a lot of work to be done on this. As you can see, all this chroming re needs redoing. Uh, you'll see when I open it up, it's all one piece inside there. Um, I've already what I've already done on this is I bent the wing backs. It was it was all bent down here, so I've bent that back. Um, I do need to repaint that, but it, I'm using the same colour. I'm going to use the same colour paints as I did with that. So let's see if we can get a match with that. Um, I think we did pretty well with that with the eagle. So hopefully. I don't want to strip it down, ideally, because to be honest with you, it's not that bad. It needs a good clean and just the little bits. There's only that bit there, a paint that really needs sorting. But it's just like little chips all over. Underneath is, is fairly good. Um, you see the screws there. We'll take that apart in a bit. Um, I have already fixed the firing mechanism but you'll know that we don't have a missile at the front now I've been looking on eBay I've actually been looking on eBay for a for a replacement uh, missile but they're all 3d printed and as I've got a 3d printer I thought why don't I 3d print my own missile so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna 3d print my own missile for that be a first and um, we're gonna take it apart in a bit uh, the only the only thing replacement I've I have already ordered uh, the stickers for the side. We're going to be taking those off. We're going to, like I said, we're going to clean it all down, take those stickers off, repaint it, get the new stickers, put those back on. Um, the sleds are not the best. They're they've got the right stress marks on them, but um, the other originals. They're not too bad. I will. I might try and bend them back. I'll heat them up and try and bend them back as best I can. I just don't want them to snap. I don't think they will. They are. They are pretty strained. But um, you'll see they've got studs there, which I don't really want to. Uh, I don't want to take out. Um, the front sled is quite bent. It's not too bad. But again, I'll bend. I'll bend that. It does have a stress mark there, but we'll bend that back in. And um, we'll chrome the chrome parts. We'll get some gold paint, and we'll go. We'll go over the little bits in the gold. The front is not too bad. We'll go over that as well. Right. So let's uh, let's let's open it up. Let's get it opened up. Uh, it does have screws, which is good. Thank you, Dinky. <laughs> it's always good that you've got screws and not the studs that you've got to. Um, drill into it, which I don't really like doing. You can damage, do more damage than than good. And you do that, you've got to be really, really precise. That's uh, simply one of the reasons why I'm, I haven't done a Batmobile as yet. I do intend to do a Batmobile, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of them things, isn't it? I just. I'd like to get like a really destroyed one so I can um, practice on it basically. So let's get this out. Let's get the top out. There we go. So that uh, the thruster at the back could really do with stripping actually and getting some gold paint on that. I might do that. I might strip that. Um, yeah, you can see inside that spring is not perfect. Um, we might have to look at that, get some oil on that, get some uh, WD-40 on that. That's easy, you can take those out. So we'll do, maybe do that as well. But um, it does work, so I don't I don't know, really know what to do. I might just put spray some in. It does work pretty well. So I don't really want to take it apart that well, that much. Um, 
because I'm not going to strip. I'm not going to strip the paint. You can see it's it's not that bad. That bottom bit's not that bad. There's little bits, but uh, we'll repaint that. It's a really good condition. That um, that front bit I might chrome. I might see if I can chrome that. That that will all come off. Um, so that's not too bad. We'll sort that out. As of the um, the chrome parts in the top, that is going to be a bit of a problem. I would like to. It's all flaking off. Can you see it's all flaking off? Um, I would like to get that out. But again, there's a little stud there. I do need to get into there as well because the the pilot. So I will have to drill that out or um, do something about that. Um, we'll sort that out and we'll get that out. Um, I don't want to break it. Be gentle, very gentle with it. So that will come out. Um, so yeah, look, look, look at that. It's all coming off. So I could do with stripping that as well. But with it being plastic, I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, so yeah, that I'm going to take all that out now and repaint all that. So we're going to get on for doing that. So we've taken the front front sled off. We've taken the springs come out. That uh, it's going to need. It's pretty dry. Is that? Um, we've taken the front bits off I'm gonna clean all these now I'm gonna take we're gonna take this off the springs come out anyway so I'm gonna take it all apart and uh, give it a clean give it a bit of an oil bath set the lid off there and there's, you know the, the the design of these things that they're, they're amazing Amazing design, like all the dinky, all the corgi cars. The the way they came up with such stuff was just unbelievable. I mean, that spring is on there. It just you just press the button, and that springs that out, which fires the missile out. It's just unbelievable design. In, in, packed in a little toy, and actually, it's just a toy. Anyway, right, so I'm going to clean all that, I'm going to paint it, and in part two, you'll see me paint, paint it, you'll see it all clean, you'll see, I will paint it, I will do a bit more of the history of this ship and UFO TV series, and uh, get all this apart, look at that, UFO, I mean look at that, it's just absolutely brilliant design and it stood the test of time yes it 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 needs some cosmetic work on it but uh, this still worked can you imagine toys of today still being uh, still working in 50 years time the war will the war these were built to last and uh, we're gonna make it look better if I, um, you can see how, how dirty it is there look at that I'm gonna leave it to soak I think but uh, you can see how dirty it doesn't really matter because that's obviously on the inside but if it's clean we can paint it I mean look at that that doesn't need painting that looks tons better already it's just all the grime of 50 years of play and uh, that's fantastic. I just, I love doing things like this. I, I really do love doing things like this. Look at that, how, how clean that's coming now. And that's just with a baby wipe. Look at that, how clean that's coming. So I'm going to soak these. I'm going to get them in a tub, get them soaked. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to soak these because. Uh, 
their mechanisms so I'm not going to soak those but the rest of it is going to get soaked and it's going to come out looking clean uh, we're going to chrome all this we're going to try and get the little guy out get him glued back in there get all this cleaned get the new stickers on get it painted get the new stickers on and make it as good as new for part two so yeah please thumb up the video look at that uh, subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to see part two and until then may the times be with you I do need to uh, drill up. Oh, that's that's popped out. <laughs> I didn't want that to pop out, but it has done now. But uh, we'll we'll put get it back in there.